Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to another What Did Dan Get in the Mail today. Today I have for you a fun stack from Chad Blankenbeckler uh, from one of the Facebook groups. You know, I'm in so many selling ones, I forget which one it was exactly. So he was doing like a claim sale and he had Marvel DC and some indie stuff. And I did buy some books, you know, some Marvel books that I saw that I liked. I think I bought maybe a DC one for a friend. And then it seemed like people just stopped looking after he got to the indie stuff. And I don't know if it's the algorithm that gets messed up where, you know, people stop getting updates or what it is. But I hate to see somebody left hanging with some with books like that. So I was like, hey, put together a couple of blind, blind uh, packs for me too. You know, your indie, your DC, whatever. And I'll see what I can do with them. Maybe I'll like them. Maybe I'll lead to something else that I'm interested in. Or maybe I can just gift them to people or whatever. So he sent me four stacks that um beautifully packaged that was set in your normal priority shipper a lot of bubble wrap a lot of plastic uh very well protected which is important this time of year you know with all the elements and everything else that happens uh rain snow everything especially with me living in new york so i'll stop the talking and i will start opening the first pack um the fun of these things is i do so many sales that I often forget what I even ordered. So most of the books I do get, if you haven't noticed already, uh, tend to be a surprise to me. Uh, which makes this whole thing even that much more fun because you see it for the first time as I see it for the first time. And as you can see, these are wonderfully packaged. So Chad, trusted seller here. I believe it was in um, like comic collectors, auctions, buy, sell, something like that on Facebook. If you are interested in the group, Hit me up in the comments and I will send you the exact group uh, that I got these from, from a sale that Chad was doing. You know, it's always nice to find a trusted seller because sometimes what I do is if I'm looking for certain things too, I'll hit them up and say, hey, you know, do you have these? Because if I bought from them in the past, I know I can trust them in the future. And I have many people who've purchased from me who do the same thing before going on eBay or to other stuff. Like, hey, do you happen to have these books I'm looking for? And I'm always happy to either look through my collection or track one down at a local comic shop that might have one because I'm all about supporting local comic shops too. So in this bundle, the unbelievable Gwenpool one. I do believe that I bought this one for my daughter Zoe uh, for her Gwen box. So that's a nice unbelievable Gwenpool one. Great condition. I did. I bought this whole Gwen Gwen bundle, yes, for her. Um, so this was the Gwenpool holiday special, which was a must. Um, I love getting these these types of fun books for her. Um, yes, that's her with Gragu right there. And then another Gwenpool holiday special, uh, number one. This one's a variant. Top corner is a little bit beat up, but I think can press out. But it's just her personal collection. So it's a beautiful cover there. Okay, Radioactive Spider Gwen, number two. I buy this book every time I see it. I love the cover. Uh, I have one framed. We have an autographed one uh, that's graded from CBCS. It's just a really fun book. And these books are harder and harder to find. And I know that Gwen is coming to the MCU at some point, And there's going to be kids who want to read it. Uh, maybe want single issues instead of trades, things like that. So I keep those things around. Uh, and here we have Unbelievable Gwenpool number 11. These Gwenpool covers are all so much fun, but the stories are also really good. Um, yes, that's cool. So Zoe, that's your Gwenpool bundle that I bought you. Okay. Yes. Ooh. So that's for your box. Now I think the remaining, or at least two of the three remaining, our mystery ones that I had him put together with what he had left and that'll be pretty cool to check out see what I got he had a lot of books listed uh, it was a really big sale and so whenever somebody takes the time to list a ton of books and they stop getting responses so we stop shaking that too um, and they stop getting responses I feel really bad because as somebody who does a lot of claim sales online I know how long it takes to set them up I know the work that's involved in taking all the pictures and getting all the prices up and that moment when you stop getting offers or looks or people talking to you about the books suck so I am happy to help anytime I see that happen uh, from collector to collector I just want to see somebody 
get some action. You know, we all have more books than we know what to do with, well, at least most of us. Um, so I will always help somebody downsize when I can. I know a lot of collectors on a budget, I mean, myself included, um, who tend to pass up certain books because of the money. So whenever I find a good deal, I make sure to jump on it for them. Okay, so this looks to be a DC uh, blind box that I got. So you're the villain 36. Um, full disclosure, I do not do DC whatsoever. I think the only DC books I own in my PC are Lobo books uh, and a few fun Batman uh, covers. But I do, the only one I currently read is the Batman 1989. So this is Year of the Villain, uh, Teen Titans 36. Right, and that's pretty cool. Um, a Justice League, Doomsday, so 69. At least this is back with the older art that I like a lot better. Um, a lot cleaner, a lot more classic. This is a Justice League America 70. Another one along those Justice League... Uh, runs there and I have some friends in mind when I said put together a DC box um, I had some certain friends of mine that collect DC that I'll be passing on so this looks like another doomsday uh, Superman Man of Steel 19 nice doomsday cover there DC first number one Man of Steel versus original flash in their first race so this is from 2002 uh, DC first number one Got some nice classic art on there too, actually. I like I like the look of that. It's nice and clean. Alright. DC first number one, the first team up of Alan Scott and Hale Jordan. So representing for the first time. So I'm guessing that this was a whole a whole run they did, and there's another one here too. Um it doesn't say one of anything though, so I'm not sure how many there were. Uh, I'm not as well versed on DC as I am on most Marvel and indie stuff. And, oh, my guy. So, Superman Lobo, DC first. I guess I found one I'll be keeping, uh, given that I do collect Lobo stuff. So that's pretty fun. So three of those DC first were in there. Now, I can't tell what that is. And I can't tell what, oh, and so I think that this is a Marvel order that I did order, like a Marvel bundle that I put together for me. But I do remember grabbing an Alpha Flight book. I grab Alpha Flight whenever I see it. I love Alpha Flight. It's just a great series. And it's one that I could have 10 issues of a book, and I tend to just pick it up anyways. Um, much to my wife's dismay. So... Here we have Alpha Flight number 57. That's another fun one. I always scoop the Alpha Flights. Marvel Super Heroes Spring Special 1. Oh yeah, I had to get this. Um, anyone who knows me knows Big Moon Knight Black Panther guy. So here we have Moon Knight Black Panther Hercules Magic. I forgot one on there. Brother Voodoo and Speedball. So this is one I actually didn't have. I have the cover in a sleeve um, in my comic collection. I didn't have the actual book. Uh, I've had that for a long time. I don't even remember when I got it. but So it's cool to have the book. Um, I've been trying to sell a lot of books and just beef up my personal collection with books that I've wanted. Um, and I've been grabbing every Moon Knight I come across simply because... They're harder and harder to get. I had a Mark Spector Moon Knight 31 that I was missing for my PC. So I had to grab that. This was also one that came out of my birthday month. And one thing I've been doing is grabbing October releases from, you know, 80s and 90s. So uh, glad to have this back. Um, I actually never had this issue. It's not back. Glad to have it to fill a hole. Uh, X-Men 213. Just, an un just a, a great cover. Um... One I, another one I pick up every time I see it, and I don't know why. I just, something draws me in, so. Um, yeah, beautiful one. So, a 
Avengers with the East Coast Avengers, Avengers 302. Uh, my guy Quasar. <laughs> I'm one of the few Quasar fans out there. Uh, but I scoop him whenever I see him as well. So it's another fun one. Some classic art there. 302 Avengers. Which brings us to the last mystery stack. Now, while I open this, I want you to know, for those of you who have been tuning into my hauls, I have altogether like 300 books on the way. Um, so as somebody who most recently said, yeah, I'm going to slow down a bit and focus on getting stuff out of here, I broke that rule real quick um, because I found some really good deals, some books that I had wanted. Um, and then I was in a couple <laughs> claim sale games where... Uh, it was just easier at the end of the day for me to scoop a long box than it was to break stuff up. So, yes, the guy who's getting out of the game has a long box coming as well as um, many other orders, uh, including from Backwall Comics and um, a few other black market comics. Um, all right, so in this indie bundle, so this is the indie mystery pack, we have the Max 22 from Image Comics. I actually got rid of my Max run a while back, uh, just as a space clearer, and I regret it. So I got to get those trades. Um, Jenny Zero Part One. This is actually one I don't know much about, so uh, I'll definitely give it a read. It's from Dark Horse. I like reading a lot of these indie ones that I had no idea about. I think a lot of the indie books tend to take their time with a lot of stuff and don't force it, and there's not going to be. Um, large widespread issues, so it's nice to really see the thoughtfulness they put into those, especially the older image ones. So this was Backlash number one uh, from Image Comics, another one that I didn't have and haven't checked out, so I will gladly read these this week. Um, all right, Vanguard number one. So these are a lot of number ones in this image bundle, which is kind of cool. Uh, so this is Vanguard number one from Image Comics as well. We'll definitely be checking it out. Reminds me a little bit of Drax for some reason. Uh, not green or anything, but that's the vibe I get. So I'll definitely be checking that one out. And, huh, Tales of the Jedi, Freedom of Nad, Up, the Freedom Nad Uprising. Um, one. And two. And from what I've gathered on um, the few I've read, the Dark Horse is better than the Marvel for the Star Wars runs, just from what I've seen. Um, especially in terms of art, too. So, that's my stack. That's about 30 or 40 books right there that just came in. Uh, again, it was from a, a sale online from Chad Blankenbeckler. And definitely, if you see him in one of those groups, you can trust him. Great packaging, great shipping. I ordered these on... Maybe Sunday or Monday, and they got here already, even with all the delays. So, uh, much appreciated. Great stuff. And, you know, until next time, uh, stay safe, be kind to others, and much love.